Hello everybody, I am back to proudly present you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle in my Back in Black series. Uh, this one is against Dylan. Um, he also uploaded the battle from his point of view, so you can take the time to go watch it from his channel. Um, you can see what he thought, and you can see you know what his Pokemon survived, and you can also watch that here, which is mainly the only difference, because it's the same battle, just two different points of views, and I'm obviously going to explain things different. So, we are going to get this started now. Alright, so, um, this is I think the third battle that we had that night, and by now I wanted to test out my Runes as my lead, so I send out Beehime, Babe, Blade, Bug-Eyed Monster, whatever you want to call it, I don't think I'm ever going to learn its name, ever, so we are just going to call him Voldemort, because he shall not have a name. He sends out his, uh, Bold or Evolve form, I'm not quite sure about the English name for that, and he's going to set up Stealth Rocks. I go for a Guard Swap. And he's going to go for a curse, and I would have really loved to have used the guard swap this turn instead. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And he's going to get his uh, attack and defense up. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to smack him in the face with the psychic. And um, I know that this Pokemon, I don't remember, maybe Boulder, I don't know. It looks awesome, though. Um, I know that it does have sturdy. Unfortunately, he doesn't need to use it. And he gets to use his cut stat berry which makes him go first, and then he explodes on my face, which is, you know, I could definitely take that. I can so take a hit from that. I mean, explosion doesn't cut defense in half anymore, and I just stole his, def uh, his defense, but I don't, which is amazing. So that thing's massive, like, I think 405 attack really came into effect there, plus the fact that it had the curse up. And now he's going to switch into his Herp Derp, or Herpy Derpy, I think he called it. Uh, as my Netric, I'm going to send out my Galvantula, and I'm screwed. Um, I don't want to switch out, because then some other Pokemon is going to have to take a Flamethrower to the face, and I have nothing that can do that. So, honestly, I have to sacrifice my Galvantula before I could even do anything. I know he's Scarfed, so there was, there was no chance I had nothing else to switch into. Because if I switch into this guy and he takes two hits in a row, then he's not going to do anything. But, um, he goes for the Flamethrower. I was expecting to survive with my um, with my sturdy. I know in Dylan's battle, I think he says that I, um, I might have predicted him to switch, but um, I really didn't. I knew if I went for a bulk up that I might not have a chance of surviving it. So I just went straight for the reversal, hoping I would go down to 1 HP, but unfortunately for me I don't, and even worse, he goes and he gets a uh, paralysis on me. But, I survived with 1 HP. This turn, I went for the rest. I could have been back at full, but <sighs> the static ability does take effect, and that's going to leave me with a dead sock. So now his Manetric has taken out two of my Pokemon, and I'm forced to send out my last resort, which would be my uh, Scyther or Endgame. <laughs> and I get destroyed by Stealth Rocks. I need a spinner on my team really bad. And he's going to go for a Flamethrower, and it only does... We'll say 138. I'm not sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm able to survive, which, um, you know, if I was at full HP when I came in, I would have been at half now, and I'm still able to take him down with uh, one brick break. Now he's going to go into his jaws. Again, I have nothing to switch to. I can go into my Kira Keys on, but I don't think it's honestly going to matter because I'll never switch into my Scyther again. So, there. I just lost one of my best Pokemon. To a Basculin, which, that's nothing bad about Basculin, it's just it's sad that a Piranha killed a, that a Piranha just killed a bug with two scythes for hands. There, I said it. Um, yeah, so now I go into my Chinchilla thing, Chin, min, min, Minchino, Minchino, or whatever. Um, I'm gonna rename this thing to, uh, Chinzilla. Um, Dylan helped me come up with that idea. And he goes for an Aqua Jet. He says that was a misclick. Um, I believe him on that one. He was probably going to go for a Waterfall. But um, either way, I managed to take it out with a uh, it Bullet Seed. There we go. I take it out with Bullet Seed. And now it switches. Um, he switches into his Idino, the Audino. And it goes for a Toxic on me. Because just the battle before, he told me that his strategy would be to Toxic me and then stall me out. So obviously, I'm going to go into my B Sharp or Beautiful Joe, so that I won't get poisoned. And now, he brings in Hulk. This, other than his main entry, is the bane of my existence for this team. 
decided to go for a stealth rock now, hoping that I would be able to, you know, get some entry hazards on that. I know I only have two Pokemon left, and it's kind of late game for stealth rock, but either way. Now he's going to go for Shell Break, which is just god-awful, because his defenses go down, which is good for me, but his speed and his attack go up two stages, which is awful for me. And quite frankly, I'd rather have him slow with mild attack and good defense than no defense, high attack, and high speed. I go for the Pursuit. I, I know he's not going to switch. Um, I'm fairly confident of that, but in my head, I am thinking I will go for Pursuit because I am a Dark type, and I can go and try and hurt him. Because I get Stab, and it'll be stronger than Psycho Cut, but I'm stupid, and I don't realize that Psycho Cut would do more damage anyways. I survived with 1 HP for the second time in this battle. Not only once did I survive with Sock, I survived a second time, and now he's going to go for a X Scissor. He's going to finish me off. Um, on, I think that the X Scissor was a little bit risky just for the fact that I might have survived. And now my last chance is to go and kill him with my Minchino, but I can't because he manages to outspeed me, and that is going to be pretty much a good game right he does manage to get a critical hit on my Minchino, which I thought was hilarious because in our other battle, I managed to take out his uh, Hermit Crab guy with a critical hit with my Minchino. So it was kind of like we, um, we traded crits at the end there. So um, it was a great game. I hope you all enjoyed it. And um, you can go and subscribe to Dylan. His link will be in the description below. And while you're at it, uh, go and subscribe to CatDude119 since, you know, you're going and subscribing to all my friends. So um, hope you enjoy the battle. Peace.